Hello Cancers, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for March 2024. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will resonate in the future because obviously it's not happened yet, please let me know by liking and subscribing and remember this is a general reading so it won't resonate with every Cancer watching. Um, if you want a more personal reading, feel free to go to the description, you'll see my email. Email me and we'll book something, I'll send you my price list. I am only doing email readings at the minute though, so just to let you know that I know that's not for everyone. What's going on for you, Cancers? Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, straight away. You're kind of... Ace of Cups, Four of Pentacles. That's the thing, I feel like, I don't know if you're collecting something. In March, you're going to collect a lot more of it, a lot easier. Um, this could be money. You could just be like saving money. But for some of you, you're collecting um, stamps. I don't know. You're collecting something. Um, you have a collection of snow globes. Um, I don't know. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles though. Four of Pentacles. Also, there's this feeling around a lot of pentacles. A lot of value. Something you have value on. You're really, really, really paying attention to your finances and your time. And making sure that... I don't know what it is. Maybe you're very focused on getting a raise or you want to get more money for the work you're doing. But in March, you might have a lot more energy of realising that you're not going to be happier when you make more money. There's this feeling of you going, oh, this makes me happy. Because cups are emotions, happiness, love, gratitude. There's all this happiness coming in this cup. Whereas I feel like with the Four of Pentacles, this is where you, you're going to end up. Like, if you, you're going to have a realisation or you recently have coming into March, you're like, well, look at all this stuff I've collected. Look at all these things I have. And how do I feel about that? I kind of just want more. I kind of want to protect what I've got and make more. And, and, and then when you're in this energy of just focusing on your material... Ace of Cups comes in, which is new love. This does not have to be a person, and for a lot of you, it might be a passion, a passion project, um, something you love doing that sparks this love, this feeling of happiness, this feeling of gratitude to be alive. As dramatic as that sounds, in March, you're kind of focusing less on the material. You might come into the start of the month very material focused, and then by the middle of the month, you're like, oh, yeah. This is, this is the stuff. This is the stuff. This is why I'm alive. Some of you are going to the beach more, depending on where you live, what um, season it is. But there's something where you're going to be around water. You're just, there's going to be a lot of love around. And it might not necessarily be you. It could be, let's see what's happening in love. What's happening in love for you? The star. It's also healing. So the Ace of Cups can be healing if you're already in a relationship. Um, you're healing your relationship and making it kind of new again or starting from a fresher perspective. The star is also healing, but on a ma massive scale. It's also wish fulfillment. It's also hope. There's some spark of hope coming in. I love this energy. And you also have a new beginning with the 2.0. It's like, let's start this again. I feel like you could say that to someone you're with. You're like, hello, my name's Nancy. It's nice to meet you. And there's something where you start fresh with that 2.0, but you don't forget the reason. You don't forget anything that happens. You're just starting on a clean slate. I don't know why I said Nancy. That's funny. Um, King of Wands. Chariot. It's very successful. Um, there's someone around you. It could be a Leo. I'm actually getting that very strongly. Some of, most of you, this is a Leo. The Chariot is travel success you could be working and traveling and having a lot of success and somebody feels a little bit left out or jealous i'm getting with the king of wands um in march you have success coming in and someone that you're in a relationship with or that wants to be in a relationship with you that is very much like oh what is cancer doing and why am i not doing it why why are they doing that how did they get that opportunity how did they get offered that? And why is it not me? There's something a little bit jealous here, envious. They could even be, it doesn't feel negative necessarily. They could actually be open with you. They could go, oh, I'm jealous of that. Do you know, it doesn't have to be any weight to the words. Um, it doesn't have to be serious. But there is a feeling that, like, they're not kidding. They're going to be like, oh, my God, I'm jealous. But they're not, so they're not holding it inside. They're not 
pent up about it, but they are genuine. They're seeing you succeed. And this person doesn't understand that they can succeed just as much, if not more, depending on what they believe. But with the King of Wands, there's something where you could even, t like, with the star, you could heal the idea that they don't believe they could have the success that you have, if you have had a lot of success in your life. What else is going on with Cancer? Strength. Again, Leo. I know I'm getting Leo energy and the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarius energy. Something's changing here and there's a lot of strength. I feel like a lot of you thought there was something with a person that was going to end. Could have been a friendship, could have been a job even, a partnership, a business thing. Something you thought was about to break up or end is actually becoming stronger. It's being re... Like, it's coming together stronger. And with the Wheel of Fortune, this is going the opposite way to what you thought. It's going in a better direction. And it's going to be a lot easier. Things are moving easier. So you could have started to grieve a connection or grieve a job or a career path, thinking it was going to leave you, thinking it was ending, thinking it was gone. And then it starts getting better and better and better. And you go, oh, well, I'm glad we had that little tough spot because that tough spot has brought us even closer together. Everything's making sense. Everything's flowing easier than it ever was in the past. Do you see? But it's coming from a little bit of a kerfuffle. Kerfuffle? A little bit of a stir up, a little bit of a shake up. Two of Pentacles. Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups. You have a lot of options. Queen of Cups is um your heart. You're in you're very intuitive. You're very love loving, no matter who's around you. Two of Pentacles and Seven of Cups. I'm feeling as if you could um be juggling a lot, Cancer. You could have a lot of commitments, have a lot, and you're figuring out in March what to get rid of. You might, you might feel a little bit overwhelmed to the point where you go, I need to get rid of one of my commitments, but I love everything. You could have a lot of hobbies. You're trying to keep up with them all and juggle them. You feel a little bit like a circus clown, um, but you're gonna figure out the things that are meant for you. And with the Queen of Cups coming out with these cards, feel into it. Feel and go, well, which ones actually make me feel the happiest? Cool. Which ones make me feel the worst? Cool. Might even be like um, a case of picking which ones make you feel the worst and see what you're left with at the end of the day. Because I feel like you're going to find happiness in every single one of them. It's like when you clear out your closet, you're going to have to be a bit brutal and be like, do I love this? Do I hate it? Do I love this? Do I hate it? Um, maybe some of you are cleaning out your closet and you do have to be a bit brutal. Do I love it? No. Cool charity do i love it no cool chat like be very brutal um especially with that two of pentacles it's this or this figure out do you love them do you hate them do you love it do you hate it maybe it's about a person because i just said them maybe it's about a person anyways um sorry this reading's been chaotic but if anything resonated or you feel it will resonate in the future please let me know by liking and subscribing and i'll see you next tuesday for tiny tall charity tuesday